Hey folks, Nixcraft here. Welcome back to the series and hope you're all having a good day and a very Merry Christmas if you are celebrating. Uh, this is Surviving with Nixcraft episode 12. In today's episode, we are going to be taking care of what I have been talking about for a long time. Uh, we're going to be doing the strip mine unloading system. We could just dump blocks in, send them to the surface, and not worry about it while we're looking for diamonds. So uh, off camera, I did some strip mining looking for iron because I knew we were going to make a lot of rails. But I actually ended up running into a mine shaft. So in this barrel right here, I dug up all the uh, rails that I could find and uh, found one mine cart with a chest. This was all we really got and I uh, got these detector rails from a chest as well. But uh, that's all we got for rails, but I did get a bunch of iron. So right here, just about three stacks. That should do it. Tons of redstone and tons of gold to make uh, powered rails. So we should be all set to go. First thing is first. Uh, I unfortunately think that my measurements were just a bit off. And uh, I am going to have to extend this little staircase here uh, over to four blocks instead of just three blocks wide. Because... Um, my plan will be, I think, on the inside wall here is where I'd want the unloading system to go. So the minecart would come up here, make a turn, and then uh, unload into chests that are over here somewhere. And I'm thinking about maybe making a build for it, but I'll, uh, I'll think about that. So uh, also on the other side, though, I want to have a minecart that we could ride. So we could just have it kind of sitting right here, hit a button, and uh, send us down to the mine shaft instead of just going down stairs. But uh, in the middle, I do want to have a staircase just in case. Maybe we accidentally send the minecart down without us or something. So that is the plan. I think I have to, uh, all the way down, dig this wall out one block. And uh, hopefully I don't run into that bubble column that we made last episode. So I am currently filling in that uh, the top of the staircase that used to head around the bubble column here. Because my plan is, we made it all the way down by the way. Four blocks wide in the staircase without breaking into the bubble column, so that's perfect. Uh, but the plan is to actually push this wall back this way and make this a bigger room, and this will actually be where all of our uh, mine carts are set and ready to go up to the surface. So, um, actually, this mine cart would be set somewhere right here, so we could just kind of run up the stairs. Right down there is where the skeleton spawner is, and one more staircase down is to the strip mine. So we just have to run up here. Put the items in the minecart, send it up, and uh, once it's unloaded, it should come back down and reset itself here. I guess this has turned into a caving session. Uh, I was just digging around and I saw some water droplets dripping through the blocks. And I uh, came up here and there's a cave, so I guess let me light this up. Hello, skeleton spawner number two. <laughs> I wonder how close this one is to our, uh... ooh, and some horse armor too. Uh, I wonder how close this one is to our uh, skeleton spawner we have already. Write down these coordinates. Alright, that was a bit of a distraction. But we have a, we have a room dug out here where we are going to put our mine carts. And I'm um, just thinking about what kind of blocks I want to use. Now, uh, I think, just kind of looking at this wall here, I might go with granite on the walls here, uh, going up the stairs. Um, just because, I'm not sure, I think granite is a very misunderstood block. It gets looped in there with diorite just because it's one of the extra stones you can find while you're, uh, while you're down at these levels, but I think it's really cool and its polished variant is awesome. You can make the stairs and the slabs, so I think I'm going to use some granite. Um, the minecarts themselves, I think I'm going to lay them on cobblestone, uh, just raised up a block, and then these two blocks in the middle will actually be where the stairs are. And that, I'm thinking some dark oak planks, but, uh, again, not too sure. But I'm gonna gather up those blocks and, uh, see what we can come up with. So we got ourselves a bit of an idea now. I'm, uh, just framing out the, uh, top of our strip mine here with this dark oak. And, uh, it's actually gonna be strip dark oak, so let me do that as well. Gonna have to get a new axe for sure. Um, but yeah, these are gonna be the wood pillars that we're gonna use throughout the strip mine, actually. So, um... If we take it down, let's see how far we want to go. Maybe a space of two, and then we'll do another beam right here. And uh, it'll stretch across right up the top like this. And then go down. So yeah, we're basically going to be doing this, and then in between, I have all this uh, granite and stuff on me, and some cobblestone too. It's going to be a mix of just regular granite and polished uh, speckled throughout it. And, um... 
the minecart itself is going to be going on some cobblestone uh, going up like this. So let me get at least this front part in so maybe I can give you guys a better idea of what I'm thinking. Okay guys, definitely took me a, uh, a long time, but I think I came up with something that works here. Now, uh, there isn't two rail lines, and that is, that is because I messed up on my measurements. So uh, if we go down here, uh, you can see where the staircase turned. There's this uh, two block uh, step up right here. So that wouldn't work with a rail on this side in order to put another rail over here. So uh, basically I had to move the rail on the third block right here. And I guess I'll have all the power on this block and uh, just a staircase that will have to run up. Uh, so I guess we're not going to have a minecart to take us all the way to the top or else I'd have to pretty much move this staircase all over the place and make it five, six, maybe even seven blocks wide. So that just uh, seems like a lot of work. So I think this will still be good. We could just dump blocks off and if we need to, we have stairs to run up instead of just jumping up the blocks. I also ended up uh, enchanting this axe off camera. It's uh, Fortune 3 and Unbreaking 3. Uh, it's pretty good, I just need to get some efficiency on it. Um, but yeah, the, the build itself, I do like the whole uh, granite and strip dark oak look. So we are going to continue this all the way down. Uh, I only got to about here, but I had enough rails to make it all the way. I'll just have to replace uh, some of these with powered rails to get a minecart all the way to the top. So I guess it's time for me to finish this whole thing, get it all the way down into our main room, and I'll bring you guys back in then. Alright guys, I got it completely in all the way down to the bottom room here, uh, which we're going to work on next, but I want to show you guys a little bit of this. Uh, I think it's looking pretty cool. Got cobblestone up on the ceiling, and uh, those variants of the granite I was talking about. And I don't know, I, I like it. It's just got a nice dim mineshaft vibe to it. Um, but these lanterns, or lanterns, <laughs> these torches I would eventually like to replace with lanterns. Uh, right here on the side on these uh, full blocks. So, uh, yeah, other than that, this thing is pretty much done. I also have to get the powered rails in, but uh, once we do that, I will run a test, and then we will build the minecart unloading system. Everything is powered up here. Now let's run down to the bottom and see if we could ride this minecart all the way to the top. All right, push this button, and away we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is not the best to ride on camera, but we made it. That's, that's the whole point. <laughs> Well, I'm a little dizzy. Now that we know that works, uh, it's time to build the minecart unloading system. Now, we'll be using a design that I saw on a Silent Whisperer video. Uh, he did 10 different minecart unloaders, actually, and uh, I will definitely link that video in the description. But you guys should also just check out his whole channel. I mean, Silent Whisperer does so many cool farms specifically for Bedrock Edition. I use his channel all the time. So we're going to take our rail line up a couple of blocks. Uh, I think at least up to here. So my idea is going to be it'll go up and then run down into a couple of chests because we're going to be using this for uh, for all the blocks that we get in our strip mine. So maybe even up one more block. And um, sitting right here I think will be the hopper. So we're going to clear off a little area here. And I plan on having like a little sort of build right next to it here. Like a little shack next to our strip mine where we store all of our blocks in. So let me clear out a little bit of space here. So whenever I'm doing redstone circuits like this, I like to lay out the blocks uh, where I'm actually going to put down the redstone. Um, so he said right here is going to be where the hopper is. So let's put down our first double chest where uh, all of our blocks are going to filter into. Climb up here and put down the hopper just like that. Um, and coming out of the bottom of this, I believe is going to be a comparator. So we need to put a block like that. And uh, we're basically just kind of making a plus shape uh, right here at the end of the chest, like that. And coming off of the corner right here is another block. So uh, on all of these blocks right here, this obviously isn't activated because there's no redstone, but this is where we're going to put all of our redstone components. So let's start by running our rail line all the way up to where our collection area is. Uh, these last two rails, though, have to be powered rails. So we'll hop on down here and uh, place a block down to scaffold up. So right next to the block that's next to the hopper, we need to grab ourselves a comparator. Now a comparator will be able to read whether a hopper has items in it or not and then emit a redstone signal. And then um, on the block next to that on this side, popping down a redstone torch. 
Uh, this redstone torch will power the block above it. So if we stick a repeater like this coming out of that powered block, it will take the power from it, push it to this one, and power these rails. But if I were to throw a couple items into this hopper, those rails turned off. Uh, that's because once the comparator powers, it powers this block, and a redstone torch on a redstone powered block actually shuts off, shutting off the repeater and therefore shutting off the rails. So if we have our minecart chest that I got right here, come up here with a whole bunch of blocks in it, uh, it will shut off once the hopper is taking items and turn back on once the minecart chest is empty. So that is absolutely perfect. All right, final test here. Let's open up this chest. I got a bunch of blocks on me. Uh, let's see, I'll keep a stack of the cobblestone. Don't need the diorite, the dirt, this gravel. Um, yeah, sure, that's, that's good. So let's send this guy up, and if it comes back empty, then we know it works. So, uh, this room here. I got some blocks on me here that I think will be good. I'm gonna come along the bottom, I think, with some stone bricks. Um, but along the top of those stone bricks, I'm going to make this, uh, stone brick stairs. And, of course, put the variants in. Just like that. And, um, the two blocks above it. Let's see, make more... Oak planks. There we go. I'm going to come up with some oak like this above it. Make some room here. My pickaxe is almost dead. It's, it's put in a lot of work today. So uh, the walls will be something like that. And I think on the floor we'll probably go with spruce. And yeah. And another thing I have to do is uh, not touch this. This is the bubble column right here. I uh, framed everything out in spruce wood, so I believe that's the plan. Now it's got to wait for this thing to come back. Oh, I hear a minecart, and here it is. <laughs> it's back and empty, so boom. Works perfectly. Now uh, let's, let's finish up this build, shall we? Alright guys, staircase down to the skeleton spawner is all filled in. Just went with stone bricks all around. And this little uh, archway design with cobblestone up on the roof. But, this main room here... I uh, decided to pretty much go with an entire chest wall. Uh, between all the bows and armor and stuff they were getting down there and blocks from strip mining, I figured the more chests the better so we could store stuff down here and for all of our excess junk throw into this chest. Now I've been sending it back and forth with all the blocks that I've been collecting from digging out these walls and it's been working so uh, let's get up to the surface and figure out that build. Behold the majestic fox in its natural habitat. Trying to steal Nick's Crafts potatoes. <laughs> so just coming in here, laying in the framework of uh, what I think this little um, mining shack is going to look like. I'm going to continue the stripped dark oak look. I actually uh, connected it up here with those little beams that stuck out. Figured that would look kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting these pillars in. And I just also noticed that little bit up there. Some, uh, some floating terrain I'll have to get rid of. <laughs> Coming along here on this wall, uh, we're going to do a little random mix of mossy and regular cobblestone here. And uh, fill it in with some spruce planks, I think. Now, uh, in the middle, I do want to leave some kind of window. Uh, maybe we'll start it right here. Leave that block like that, maybe. And do something like this. That matches the other side, right? I believe so. Nope, no it doesn't. <laughs> So something like this, maybe, and leave it pretty open, and uh, I'm actually going to fill it with these dark oak fences, I think. So let's see how this looks. Uh, something like this. These are the worst to try and fill in here. There we go. Something like that. Do we like that? Not too sure. In typical Mega Taga fashion, it has started raining. Um, but I think I'm gonna get a roof line in here and we'll mess with this whole window a bit later. Uh, so let's start over here, I think, and um, lay down a line that we think will look good. So I'm gonna come up top a little bit. Still haven't made any scaffolding. Probably make a bamboo farm or something for that, but anyways. Uh, I think we'd start going up a block right away. And we can go in like this. And maybe even up one more block. I'm not too sure. We'll see what happens when we reach the middle. Which I think is right there. Let's go down and check. 
If I reach the middle, I've been off all day. <laughs> Let's see. It's a pretty tall roof. Um, yeah, I was off. But yeah, the middle's pretty much right there. So let me, uh, let me see how tall that is from a distance, actually. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, that could probably work. Okay, frame of the roof is in. I uh, trimmed it down a little bit and then popped it out this way to have a little bit more overhang on the roof. I think that looks nice. And uh, we got ourselves these dark oak overhangs over the front and over the windows on the side because uh, I'm going to end up making the roof out of dark oak. Uh, so on the inside, too, I'm just going to frame this uh, chest chain out with some dark oak as well. Just pillars going up and then uh, fill in the rest of the stone bricks behind it just so it looks like a flat wall. Uh, I'll probably add like a blast furnace in here and maybe a bed to sleep in and that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe I'll connect a little chimney or something to the blast furnace, but uh, we will see about that. Um, but on this flat part of the roof as well, I'm thinking I'm going to run a beam of strip dark oak to match these uh, right from the middle up to the top. And the rest will be stripped oak logs, just regular oak. So let me see if that looks good and uh, let me go gather some blocks. <laughs> Oh boy, guys, this has definitely been a busy, busy episode, but in front of me, I have the finished strip mine area, and I am just absolutely in love with this, so let's check it out. Here we are, guys. Got the fireplace going up top with that beautiful chimney that I made. Got a little planter box on the outside here with some ferns and flowers and lanterns and leaves everywhere, and I'm just... Oh man, I'm loving it. The stripped oak right here on the flat part of this roof came out so nice. So uh, if we come on to the inside too, I finished that part as well. Our uh, rail line that runs up and the redstone is somewhat covered up. You can see the comparator there and the torch, but that's just fine. And uh, these chests are nice and ready to go. Got ourselves a bed and a blast furnace. We are all set over here, guys. So not only did we finish this build here, but we finished everything down there as well. So that is going to do it for me today, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely did. We got so much work done, and uh, I am just loving everything that we did today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and comment. I always love to see those. Uh, spread the word about Nick's Craft, and spread the merry, uh, merry Christmas to all you guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.